Hey, it's Lana, welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we're gonna talk about why it's difficult to end your relationship because I struggled, I think in every single goddamn relationship I've ever had to end them when it came to time to end them. And for me personally, I've come to realize that it stems from a lack of trust in yourself. So sometimes it can be fear of like not wanting to be alone and all of those kind of things. But again, even that comes down to a lack of trust in yourself, because if you trusted yourself, you would know that you're not alone. You would know that you wouldn't be alone and that you wouldn't be alone for the rest of your life either. You know that you would meet somebody when it's time. So I feel like the difficulty comes when we resist the fact that it needs to happen. We start going back against ourselves. We feel that urge like it's not working out or like we don't need it. We don't resonate with it anymore. And then we kind of go against that and question that, doubt that, hesitate with that, second guess ourselves with that and fear even doing it. So then we don't do it, you know? So it's a lot of resistance to our own needs and everything that our inner self is calling for. So it comes back down to self-esteem again with everything that I ever say is about building that connection with yourself so that when you feel that call of this doesn't feel right, we don't feel compatible, maybe this isn't the right person or maybe it's not going to get better, I realise that they're never going to change, all of these kind of things, when you get that urge or that feeling or that like thought you actually see it as being true and trust it enough to follow through with it and sometimes we get that call and we just dismiss it and we ignore it we act like it didn't even happen <laughs> sometimes I've done that so you just pretend like the red flag wasn't there I've ignored a million red flags when I was younger especially so being able to acknowledge the fact that there's red flags there or being able to acknowledge the fact that you're not feeling it anymore if it's something that you've been in for a while and then being able to trust that fact and then walk that path and just go with it because the thing is is that it's unknown and that's why we're fearing it but everything in life is unknown because you don't know it yet until you get there kind of thing like in our level of perception as being human beings here we don't know what the future is but energetically we can tap into certain things like our intuition and our higher self and stuff so you can tap into certain things but we still don't physically see it yet so you have to take that leap and trust it and really building that level of trust with yourself is essential because for one thing it will stop us even getting into certain types of situations for another thing it will stop us sticking around in certain type of situations for way longer than we needed to and for another thing it will help us get out of them when we finally feel like we're ready to so we need to be able to trust ourselves and trust how you feel trust how you feel when you're around the person trust how the whole dynamic makes you feel and if you're even watching this video chances are you know in yourself that it's time to end it otherwise you wouldn't be researching these types of videos and believe me I've done this a million times when I wanted to end something and I would start YouTubing how do I end it why why like should I end it what's the signs that I should end it I have YouTube these kind of videos a million times and it's because I didn't trust myself because I knew the signs I knew how I felt but I didn't want to admit to myself that this is actually the reality and that I need to take action on this now and let this connection go because it's scary to let people go because especially if you've been with them for a while it can feel like you're losing a piece of yourself or like you're losing your comfort zone you're losing familiarity the thing that you know the thing that's safe to you and then you're going out in the unknown by yourself now 
And really, you're never alone because we're all connected, first of all, but also because you're connected to your higher self, second of all. <laughs> and then thirdly, you're going to meet so many new people that will actually be on your wavelength and on your frequency if you would trust yourself and listen to how you feel and follow through with it. Because another thing to also add to this is that when you choose to stick around with somebody that you're not on the same wave as or when you choose to stick around with something that you've outgrown you are settling and you're telling the universe that you're willing to be on this level when you know you need to be up here so if you're choosing to stay down here then the universe is going to keep giving you more experiences that are down here because this is where you're choosing to be this is the level that you're accepting and choosing to stay at instead of realizing that you need more that you need different that you deserve different that you deserve all your needs to be met and stepping yourself up and moving forward and waiting for the right people so choosing to leave is actually a self-care thing it's actually a self-worth thing it's something where you're saying no I deserve more than this or even if they haven't done anything wrong it's saying that I deserve my needs to be met I deserve somebody that I'm completely compatible with and that's elevating your own frequency it's literally setting your standard and your sense of self-worth and that's an essential part of being able to manifest what you want. You need to be able to assert that and know that and trust that. So it's really important to actually follow through with that and to listen to how you feel because you know how you feel. You just need to let go of the fear of the outcome, the potential outcome, and trust that it's going to lead you to where you need to be and that it's okay to just take this step blindly and follow it because it's what you feel called towards and your higher self is always guiding you to everything that you need in service of you in your favor in service of your highest good and it's not out there trying to harm you because it is you you know so trust it and follow what you need and I guarantee you once you let this go and you really believe in yourself and your self-worth and your needs you will meet so many incredible people and more connections that actually align with it that feel more freeing and feel more in alignment with who you are and what you need so I really hope this video was helpful definitely comment down below if you want to carry this conversation on or if you have any video suggestions if you would like a one-to-one -one session with me the link to that is in the description box below as well as links to my music my social media my phone number because I do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts every day and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and I will see you in the next video bye it's always